here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of numerical analysis welcome to video number 4 of numerical integration where we are going to solve fourth problem on this topic in the playlist you will find eight problems based on this topic that is numerical integration and all the eight problems are equally important okay so let us start with this beautiful problem the question says a solid revolution is formed by rotating about x axis the area between the x axis the line x equal to 0 and x equals to 1 and a curve through the points with the following coordinates here a solid revolution is formed by rotating about the x axis a solid revolution is formed by you know, by rotating about the x axis the area between the x axis the line x equal to 0 and x equals to 1 okay the line is between x equal to 0 to x equals to 1 and a curve through the points with the following coordinates here we have x values and y values i mean here we have x when x equal to 0 y equals to 1 when x equal to 0 0.25 y equals to 0.9896 similarly when x equals to 0 0.5 the y value is 0 0.9589 when the value of x is 0 0.75 in that case y value is 0 0.9089 when x equals to 1 y value is 0 0.8415 okay Estimate the volume of solid formed using Simpson's rule. Here, nothing is mentioned like whether we have to use Simpson's one third rule or Simpson's three by eight rule. Okay, so we will see in detail how to use Simpson's one third rule and how to use Simpson's three by eight rule and which rule we have to follow in this particular problem. Okay, so let us start. Here, you can see the difference value is how much 0 0.25 here we have 0 0.25 0 0.50 similarly 0 0.75 and 1 the difference or you can say interval size or we can say width is 0 0.25 but we have to show how the value of width is 0 0.25 so here we can write width which is given by small h the formula is b minus a upon n what is b that is extreme limit what is a that is initial limit you can say upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 and what is n n is the number of steps here you can see the number of elements here are 5 how 1 2 3 4 5 number of elements are 5 we have to subtract, subtract 1 to this element that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 what is 4 that is number of steps always subtract with 1 the number of elements minus 1 will give me number of steps so here the value of b is 1 minus a is 0 upon n that is how much 1 2 3 4 5 5 minus 1 that is 4 so here we can say the value of h which is width is 1 by 4 or you can say it is 0 0.25 here you can see the the difference is 0 0.25 in each interval okay now we need to find the required volume okay we need to find the required volume of the solid form using simpson's rule okay so required volume of solid solid form that is equals to the formula is integration the limit is from 0 to 1 here you can see the limit is from 0 to 1 so limit is 0 to 1 the formula is pi y square dx here you can see x is an independent variable and y is dependent variable i repeat this once again since x is an independent variable and y is dependent variable so the formula is pi y square dx now we can take this pi as constant so we are taking this out of this integration that is pi into 0 to 1 integration y square dx okay now here let us understand where to use simpson's one third rule and the second that is simpson's 3 by 8th rule because in the problem it is said use simpson's rule so we know that the capital n value in the case of simpson's one third rule is how much 2 
okay and the value of capital n in the case of simpson 3 by 8 only is how much 3 and we need to find small n upon capital n okay if the value of small n upon capital n is a natural number then we can say we can use that rule that is small n 4 capital n 2 4 upon 2 how much 2 and 2 is a natural number so in this particular problem we can use simpson's one third rule okay this point now coming to this simpson's 3 by 8 rule the value of small n upon capital n that is 4 upon 3 is not a natural number you can see okay the value of 4 upon 3 is not a natural number so in this particular problem we cannot use simpson's 3 upon 8 rule but let's suppose the value of n is how much 6 suppose the value of n is how much 6 small n value then in that case 6 upon 2 that is small n upon capital n 6 upon 2 is 3 and in the case of simpson 3 upon 8 rule small n upon capital n that is 6 upon 3 is 2 in both the case you will find you will have a natural number in that case again we will use simpson's one third rule because it is said like on applying this simpson's one third rule the approximate value you will get is much closer to the accurate value okay is much closer to the uh, actual value of this integration so here again we are using simpson's one third rule and we will get the required volume of this solid form okay so writing here using simpson's 1 by third rule now before this let me write this as y naught this is y1 this is y2 this is y3 and this is y4 okay it is pi 0 to 1 y square dx equals to pi is as it is the formula of simpson's one third rule is h upon 3 bracket open y naught plus extreme values of y that is y naught plus y4 but here you can see there is a catch there is an important point that is here we don't have y we have y square okay here we have y square so we need to square both the terms in the same way plus the form is the formula is 4 into odd subscripts of y that is y1 y3 so here again y1 plus y3 closing this bracket again squaring both the terms plus twice of remaining values remaining even values of y that is y2 y2 here we have y4 so we are not considering y4 here again squaring this term okay now what we will do simply put the values of y and h here pi into what is the value of h that is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 upon 3 again here you can see here we have y naught values how much 1 okay so 1 square plus y naught y4 value is 0 0.8415 square this plus 4 times y1 value is how much that is 0 0.9896 square plus y3 value is 0 0.9089 square again twice into y2 square y2 square means 0 0.9589 square now closing this bracket now on calculating this you will get the value of this solid form volume of the solid form that is 2.82 but we are finding the volume so here you can say it should be in meter cube centimeter cube like that but in this problem no nothing like no unit is given so we will write unit cube and that is my final answer thank you thank you so much